You meet someone new and attractive. The eye looks and the mind wanders. Temptation strikes, although you don't succumb to it in the moment. Nonetheless, you find your thoughts keep returning to the encounter, to that attractive person, and to the possibility for romance, sex, or relationship. When the mind wanders, it often follows a path to love, romance, and sex. If you're currently unattached, such thoughts can be wonderful. Infatuation is a seductive emotional experience. Who knows where it will lead? But if you're already in a committed and happy relationship, you may not want those thoughts. You may not want to be distracted by a handsome or pretty new face. What can you do to remain focused on, and committed to, your current relationship? How can you stop those thoughts about the other person? Just telling yourself to stop thinking about that person doesn't help. Daniel Wagner and his colleagues have shown that attempted thought suppression actually has the opposite effect. You end up experiencing more of the thoughts you tried to suppress. In a classic study, Wagner and colleagues asked people to not think about the white bear. Trying to suppress thoughts of white bears, though, just led to more thoughts of white bears, the rebound effect. Thought suppression and rebound effects appear for all types of thoughts, including those about people you find attractive. Trying to suppress such thoughts can even lead that person to appear in your dreams. And trying to not think about sex isn't very effective, either. Those thoughts not only rebound into awareness but they have physiological effects as well. Your palms get sweaty when you try to avoid sexual thoughts. How do you stop that person from constantly appearing in your thoughts? Instead of suppressing your thoughts, try changing the focus instead. The best advice is to actively focus your thoughts during a different direction, but the character of these alternative thoughts is crucial. Gonzaga and colleagues have investigated various ways to prevent brooding about a beautiful new person. First, they gave people in relationships someone attractive to think about. They presented six pictures of attractive people and asked participants to choose the one they thought was most attractive. While watching that picture, the participants wrote about why the person was attractive and what the right first meeting thereupon person would be like. By using the writing task, the researchers made sure that people were thinking about that person and imagining interactions with him or her. Haven't we all had similar daydreams? You remember how attractive, charming, and pleasant a particular new person seemed to be. Where would you go? What would you do together? You imagine going out there upon person for the primary time. Now stop. Stop thinking about that person. Of course, we all know that telling yourself to prevent doesn't work. It didn't add the experiment, either. Some people were simply asked to prevent brooding about the attractive person, but the thoughts continued into subsequent task, more so than if they hadn't been told to stop the thoughts. Article continues after advertisement. But once they tried instead to vary the main target of their thoughts, and, specifically, to believe their current romantic partner, the results were very different. Some participants were asked to believe either the time they felt the foremost love or the foremost concupiscence for his or her current partner. And which was better at stopping thoughts about an attractive new person? Thoughts about love. Love was more powerful than sex. Try brooding about the time you felt love, that is, felt close, connected bonded to your current romantic partner. In the experiment, thinking of one's current partner in terms of love substantially reduced the thoughts of another person. Thinking of sexual attraction for a current partner wasn't nearly as effective. Gonzaga and colleagues argued that this is the whole point of feeling love. Being in a strong, committed relationship has a lot of benefits. Love is the emotion that keeps you coming home to the same person every night for years. Thinking of love for one's current partner did more than just drive thoughts of that attractive new person from people's heads. Thinking of affection actually diminished the memory of that other person. People who thought of love remembered fewer of the attractive features of that new person than other participants did. Do you want to stop thinking about someone new? Do you want to stay committed to your current partner? Do you want to diminish your memory for an attractive new person? Do you want to remove the temptation? The approach is simple, believe your current partner. But the keys to believe a time once you felt love for him or her because love is the, the power which will clear the mind and keep people together.